army to do the same. In the new film called Stop Loss, actor Ryan Philippe plays a good soldier who served in Iraq. He returns home to Texas at the end of his duty, only to be told by military authorities that he must return against his will for still another tour. Stop Loss is the second feature film made in Texas by writer-director Kimberly Pierce. And you know Kimberly Pierce. She's the award-winning director of Boys Don't Cry. That's the film that won Hilary Swank her very first Oscar. She joins us this morning along with actor Victor Razouk, one of the stars of Stop Loss, and you also know Victor from Bonneville and Lords of Dogtown. Good film, and a really good film, Raising Victor Vargas. Thanks for being here today. Thank hey, let's you. get into this issue of the film because this is something that most of us walking the planet, unless you're in the military, do not know. I did not know about Stop Loss. How'd you find out about it? Well, I was working on this story. I'd been interviewing soldiers across the country. My brother was enlisted in Iraq. Uh -huh. And uh, we were already writing the story of this patriotic soldier, Brandon Leonard King, who had gone over there, had bonded with his buddies, mm -hmm. um, went through a very difficult mission, and came home. And we were looking at this soldier. And then a patriotic soldier said to me, do you want to hear something really messed up? This was over IM, because I was IMing with soldiers in Iraq. And I said, what? And he said, stop loss. And I was like, what is that? And he said, it's a backdoor draft. And I said, well, what is that? Because I didn't know about that either. And he said, they're recycling guys. They're breaking their contracts, and they're sending them back to war after they've already completed their missions. Now, the, on, on first surface, and we're, we're talking about guys who are very dedicated, very good at what they do. These are guys that not are only serving one tour, but many tours often. And then they come back, and they, they're starting to plan the next chapter of their life for their wives and their families. And then uh, to say, no, you can't go home. In fact, you have to go back in a few days and go again. Yeah. It's, I don't have words for that. Well, it's heartbreaking. For some people, and watching this interview, would say, well, it's your patriotic duty. You should do whatever you signed up for it. I'm not sure I have an answer for that. They already did that. Well, exactly. I think that's the thing. These are the people who were the first to sign up, the ones who wanted to, you know, give their life to their country, mm -hmm. total patriots. So when they're done with their tours and they want to get out, to not let them out, I mean, it's really, it's yeah. really a challenge to everything they believe in. Yeah. And once again, I say this because when you watch the film, you realize that you couldn't have more patriotic guys. No. These are not a bunch of slackers who are trying to get out of what they're doing. Victor, was working on this film what you thought it would be like? And you, had, had you met Kimberly before? Um, you're working with a top-line director, and I know you know that. Yeah. Um, well, I met Kim uh, right before because we, you know, we, most of us had to audition for the film, yeah. and I was completely excited to be, you know, possibly be a part of it. So when I found out I got it, it was amazing right from the beginning because she threw all the actors in real boot camp with right. real guys who had just come back from Iraq, and they gave us anecdotes and showed us pictures, and I think it gave us all a perspective on where these guys were coming from and, you know, what, what how they felt about the war and why they even enlisted. Why didn't you shoot this film in Austin? Yes shot in Austin because we wrote it to be set in Texas, and that was because I was traveling around the country, and so many soldiers who had signed up were either from Illinois or they were from Texas, from towns that had a rich uh, military tradition, they came from families that had had many people fight in the wars, mm -hmm. and then I started working with Mark Richard, who's a wonderful novelist from Texas, and it just became so obvious that if we really wanted to capture this patriotic spirit, this love of the military, and this love of serving your country, this is where we needed to set it. And we appreciate that because everybody's going to New Mexico sometimes and they're going to New Zealand and other places and fake in Texas and you can't fake Texas. Here's a scene. Now watch this from Stop Loss. It's a very emotional scene where Ryan Philippe finds out and he's trying to decide what to do. His mom and, his, and the girl next door gets involved. Watch this. They Stop Loss to you? How can they do this? They're doing whatever they want to do. With a shortage of guys and no draft, they're shipping back soldiers who's supposed to be getting out. The backdoor draft is what it is. What about Steve? Liz, I don't know. Some of us are getting it, some ain't. This cannot be happening. No, you almost died over there. What do you want to do? You want me to take you to Mexico till this blows no, over? No, no, no. Out of the question, Mom. I ain't dragging my tail across to Mexico. I'll take you. Has the military seen this film? Have you had any reactions from the military at all in this film yet? Well, we've had reactions from many, many soldiers. Because we had many Iraqi war vets both reading the script and working on the production. We cast as many of them as we could. Sergeant Major Jim Deaver, 25 years in the Marines, who did Clint Eastwood's movies, mm -hmm. total pro, total film historian, trained the guys. So we've had you know great reaction from the soldiers who worked on it. And then we've been screening it to City 20 right. out of so 22. You've still got a couple of yeah, you still got a while for it to open. Yeah, yeah just to... Yeah, you know, that's an interesting road to travel. You know, you have the military wants to be always shed a good light on everything. 
then you have something that's hard to deal with for a lot of people that have been through that. Mm. Well, you have Gates coming out and saying that they want to decrease the reliance on stop loss. So I think they're pretty openly admitting that it's not a good solution to the problem right now. In your head, do you know how many people have been stop loss so far? Um, at least 81,000. That's a lot. And that was a, a that statistic's already a year old. Yeah. And then you think about all the families that are involved. Yeah. It's a lot of people. Imagine. Hey, thanks. Absolutely. It's so nice to see you. I'm nice like to the see biggest it. fan of Victor than anybody. <laughs> we make movies because we care about ideas. Yeah. We make yeah. the movies about the ideas that we care about. Stop Loss, written and directed by Kimberly Pierce, starring Ryan Philippe and Victor Rasuk, opens in Texas theaters on Friday.